And now, your 13 News Now weather forecast, certified most accurate in Hampton Roads. Well, earlier this evening, temperatures were dropping rather quickly. Now they've started to level off a little bit. We had talked about that earlier, and we're still sticking with that part of the forecast. The reason, southerly winds starting to blow in, and that's going to mean some warmer temperatures again during the day tomorrow. Today, we were not quite 10 degrees warmer in most spots than yesterday. Tomorrow should be another probably five, six, seven, maybe as much as 10 degrees warmer as well. Nothing on radar right now. We've had completely clear conditions throughout the early evening. Now we'll see just a few clouds moving in late tonight. Mid 30s for somewhat inland or rural spots, actually some low 30s, really, really inland. But most of us will say between about 35 and 38 degrees. Right now we're holding at 41 in Norfolk. You can see we dropped indeed into the mid 30s as we had talked about. And then we basically held right about there. 38 right now in Portsmouth, 41 currently in Virginia Beach. Take that wind out of the south. Keep it going all night. Add in a few high thin clouds. And the difference is by morning negligible. We're going to be right about where we are currently. And then tomorrow, remember earlier I was showing you this line of clouds and said, I think there's a slight chance at least of a shower, especially to the north. I still think that's the case. Anything that falls here in the metro area, I think this is now overdone before it was underdone. Now it's well, it may show up on radar, but probably won't reach the ground. The best odds uh, are for it to evaporate. Look, though, as we get into Tuesday afternoon, we're going to see or evening. We're going to see those winds coming in out of the west very sharply 30 miles per hour. I mean, it will really be howling out there and that just drives all that Canadian air into the region. Most of us down into the 20s tomorrow night. You factor in that wind out of the west at 17. It is going to feel like the teens in terms of a feels like or a wind chill temperature Wednesday afternoon. I'm going for a high of 38. If we make 39, we did that last March 5th. I think it was last February, like third or fifth, something in the first week of February, we were 38. So if we hit my 38 that day, it'll be the coldest day since last early February, Wednesday night into early Thursday, a few isolated light and mixed showers are possible. And then look at that wind still howling again during the day on Thursday. So tonight here comes that front. The one that we said by tomorrow has a slight risk of bringing us again a little bit of something in northern areas. And then we're going to get what's called an Alberta Clipper comes from uh, Alberta sections of Canada straight down on that dipping jet stream. And that gives us a chance again a few days from now for that little bit of a mix Wednesday night. So tonight 38 but mid 30s for somewhat inland or rural areas and much uh, well, I shouldn't say much colder, a little bit colder, lower 30s for the most inland spots. Tomorrow, 58. Hopefully a couple of spots can hit 60, at least on some bank thermometers, that kind of thing. 38, though, Wednesday, and it'll mm. feel like the 20s at the highest. 49 with a chance of a flurry early Thursday, and you can see temperatures finally get back almost to 60 again by Sunday. See that? All right. Thank All right. You, thanks, Jeff. Jeff.